Hi guys, this is Daily Wish here. I hope you all are doing absolutely amazing and I am pretty much sure you are manifesting everything that you have ever desired for. So in this context, I am going to share a very deep and in-depth knowledge on how you can accelerate your manifestation with breathing techniques yes you heard me right with breathing techniques today we are going to do some of the breathing exercise and not just uh, we are going to do it practically we are going to learn in depth uh, this whole uh, exercise and how it is going to help you and what is the technicality what is the scientific reason that it works every time to get you absolutely amazingly in a very natural way to the uh, sad state so yes uh, this is one of the manifestation hacks to amplify the result of conscious creation or manifestation so you breathe in and you breathe out you always breathe in and you always breathe out you can use breathing patterns or breathing rhythms to increase the amplitude of your physical body and as a very very old technique this one is used in many of the eastern philosophy it is using your breath to amplify to lend more power to the physical body so that it amplifies your thought process and it also balances them out right so this technique can be done anytime and anywhere intentionally and the best part is it is ex- extremely powerful and incredibly awesome and well it is not going to cost you any single penny that's my promise to you all right so i am super excited are you well i am extremely extremely excited about it so today we are uh, going to learn this breathing pattern or you can say breathing rhythm that extremely powerful which is extremely powerful and it basically synchronizes your hemisphere and literally physically drives them into a longer brain wavelength what is this brave uh, wavelength i would encourage you to please watch this i card video right now stop this video right now and just go and watch this uh, brain wavelength uh, video first and then you can understand what is the main difference between different different wavelengths that we have in our brains and how in each state whenever you are going why these brain wavelengths are essential and uh, why this is so much important for your brain to function in a certain way okay so that um it has more power apparently this uh, you know this whole exercise and this is the easiest way to tap into your subconscious mind and get into sad straight away so this was the very big question in one of my subscribers uh, he has written down so many you know <laughs> messages left right center you know back and forth back and forth we were discussing about these breathing exercise and he also mentioned one of the uh, breathing expert breathing exercise expert wim hof uh, i have told him that this is one of the exercise which is not related with him but yes he would now understand so basically we all are struggling uh, in getting our manifestation just in case if you are struggling so the right way of doing sat is uh, through this breathing exercise because it is going to slow down your brain length uh, first of all and yes of course it is so easy for your subconscious mind to comprehend the imaginal act as your current reality right there it is right there all right it is that easy so yes we are going to learn in depth about this breathing exercise and it is going to help you so 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 much and uh, in getting your manifestation so easily so quickly that i can't tell you i'm so excited about it right now here comes the most interesting and fun parts as you are doing these breathing exercise you can imagine or perceptualize the things that you are trying to manifest in your life by doing what by doing all your by using all your five senses which is what smell taste touch your listening and your seeing everything all the five senses you are going to use while doing the imaginal act and doing these exercise now it is not something which is going to uh, like you are not going to perfect it in in the first go but yes eventually while practicing again and again you are definitely going to learn how uh, you can achieve the best state wherein you can imagine your act and 
and feel it while doing this special breathing exercise all right so the whole purpose is to get immersed completely in the entire imaginal act or your scene of visualization whatever you call it so when you are doing this special breathing exercise the whole idea is to feel it as if it is happening first of all right now and it is so real that your subconscious mind doesn't understand the meaning between the difference between your reality and your imaginal act all right and to be very fair uh, if you search it on internet you will find thousands and thousands of breathing exercise but this one is used since ancient time that's why i've selected this one and it is proved to be the most powerful when you are doing it in meditative sta uh, state so i would say uh, do it you can do it basically you know any time of the day but you know with my personal experience i would say do it right before you are just going to sleep all right and do it just after waking up in the morning these two times you cannot miss you cannot afford to miss uh, these two times however in the daytime whenever you feel like doing uh, the meditation uh, you know uh, for the day you can definitely you know start doing this breathing exercise and then go into your meditative states so uh, in this meditative state uh, basically it speeds up and accelerate your manifestation altogether like anything so that is why this particular breathing exercise is quite special to my uh, heart and uh, <laughs> it is going to give you results like anything all right so let me explain about the technique first this is quite interesting and then i'll guide you uh, step by step if you can um, like if you can learn to breathe uh, how to do this exercise in a perfect manner and with me we'll do the practical learning right here uh, so that uh, you know just like many other breathing exercise this too starts with focusing on your breath so all you need to do is just focus on your breath in this one also and later on we can start counting to make a pattern this is the interesting part to make a pattern and rhythm of breathing in and breathing out and to be completely honest with you since uh, you know uh, it includes counting numbers so initially you are expected that you will be focusing on the numbers and uh, you know or the counts but eventually as you practice it you will be able to visualize and perceptualize the things that you want in your life meaning you will eventually start feeling the imaginal act of yours while doing this exercise it is it is going to become quite natural for you just breathing in and breathing out again breathing in and breathing it all out so it becomes naturally a part of you and then oh my god the magnetism is unavoidable and before you know it it will come to pass it has to come right because you made it so 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 natural all right so coming back to the technique it's extremely simple it's inhalation for a couple of seconds and then hold your breath for again couple of seconds and then exhale for few seconds and then again hold out your breath as in don't breathe back in uh, yet and for few seconds as this gives the stability and while we do this we will count this is the main part because breathing uh, without counting is just breathing in and breathing out so we are going to count with a special pattern and when you are hitting the last four seconds i'm just going to tell you how you can do this all over again so it's called four eight eight four it's four eight eight four just to make it easy for you you can learn four eight eight four uh, exercise pattern as in we are going to inhale for four Four seconds easy very simple all right four seconds you are going to inhale your breath and then hold uh, uh, hold your breath for eight seconds you are not going to breathe again you have to wait count for eight seconds and then breathe out for again eight seconds so while you are breathing out you have to count one two three four five i'm just going to count it along with you we are going to do a practical session right here right now and then hold out for four seconds and in don't take breath back right now you are after holding out for four seconds you are not going to take the breath in just again for a few seconds that is four seconds and 
uh, once you are done this uh, done with this you can keep on doing it for a couple of more minutes i would say start with five minutes you can do it for 30 minutes or an hour totally up to you your call but even the smallest time period as few as five minutes as i'm suggesting these five minutes will be enough it is going to be enough for what for just to engage your central nervous system to stabilize your mind all right in a way it is a it is uh, well it is going to bring your mind centered all right it is going to bring it in it is going to uh, bring you stability in your mind and it is uh, going to make you become more conscious of your thoughts more aware of your thoughts what you are thinking because your thoughts create reality right your thoughts create reality so what it is going to do for you it is going to make you aware of these thoughts and that you are creating consciously with your thought process right and if you use it regularly and consistent uh, consistently to get control over your physiological processes and engage your thought so that you are consciously creating in the most literal sense because evidently most of us are not even aware of our uh, breaths right we are not even aware what we are doing right uh, so what does it mean when i say we are not even aware of our breaths well uh, we are not even aware as in how we breathe and how with each thought our breath changes that we are breathing in a certain way or that we are holding our breaths when we are stressed or something we are holding our breath when somebody talked to us in a certain way or even in traffic right so what happens is when you hold your breath it means that you are not even aware that where you are in the whole breathing cycle as in are you holding your breath after inhalation or was it after exhalation or are you even breathing in or breathing out so as soon as you become aware of this the more aware you are the more you are gonna be conscious about what you are creating and the more you are going to engage your physical body to be aware of the consciousness the easier it becomes for you to manifest instantly and breathing is probably uh, in fact one of the most powerful tool to get there all right so because now you have a total integration in what you do okay in what you as you move through the world creating with your thoughts creating with your movements creating with your words and it is a fantastic way to engage your entire body and then just make sure that you do that power up your physical body and you get your thoughts lined up the way you want them and the way you are only thinking things that you intend on creating which is difficult apparently which is difficult for a lot of people uh, to do if you ask me because we are not taught this in the school right or in in our even homes right though it should be that uh, you line up your thinking process and you are really the creators of your own life that you are the powerhouse of creation and you are the god of your reality and eventually by training the muscle of your mind you master the art of manifesting and start manifesting every output as you master your thought process because because now you don't let things in that don't belong there in your mind right so are you ready to try this beautiful life-changing breathing technique uh, let's start so find a nice quiet spot and sit on a chair or in half lotus posture keep your back straight close your eyes and just relax Take three deep breaths. Now Take a long deep breath 
and count with me up to four. One, two, three, four. Hold your breath and count up to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe out and count again up to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And hold out again up to four. One, two, three, four. Let's do it one more time. Take a long deep breath and count with me up to four. One, two, three, four. Hold your breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold out again. One, two, three, four. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. How do you feel? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you have felt really nice, quite relaxed. So this is one of the exercises which you can do uh, in your free time. But I would still suggest before doing your imaginal act, always do this uh, breathing exercise. It is the perfect exercise to tap your subconscious mind and to get you uh, straight away right into the sad state of mind. So do it right before when you are going to sleep and do it just after after waking up in the morning so yes do practice it on daily basis and uh, once you are uh, you know uh, absolutely there mastering this whole breathing exercise then you can start imagining your final act your imaginal act with your uh, desires in it with your feelings in it with all your five senses you are going to feel the imaginal act while doing this breathing exercise it is going to be amazing experience for you guys i'm telling you once again i'm extremely sorry for the long video but i hope you enjoyed today's video and i hope you learned a lot in today's video from today's video so yes that's it uh I hope uh, uh, whatever content I'm bringing in, it is uh, quite enjoyable and you are learning a lot. And uh, in case if you are interested, I may, uh, uh, if you are interested, do let me know if you want me to do a meditative uh, long video so that you understand how to do the right meditation uh, and how to get into sats uh, step, step by step, you know, with the breathing exercise as well, the guided meditation. I can do that maybe after a couple of days, I can definitely put my uh, energy into it and uh, yeah that's it if you like today's video in case uh, if you did do not forget to give it a big fat thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my channel i come up with lots and lots of interesting stuff and lots and lots of learning uh, stuff so yes consider subscribing i'll be meeting you very very soon in the next video until then please do take care of yourself and happy manifesting